And welcome everybody here on Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube uh, for another donation deck that we're going to be playing here, Teamer Midrange. This one looks pretty strong. So this is kind of like a, a Teamer deck post Oko and post Once Upon a Time, as you can see here. Uh, we're still doing uh, some food stuff with Gilded Goose, Wicked Wolf, um, but, but we're trying to ramp into Nyssa and Chandra Awakened Inferno, Hydroid Crisis at the top end. We're, we kind of just got a, a lot of just really good cards here. Um, but yeah, our, our, our late game, we got this stuff. We got Ember Cleaves because this card's just really strong. Kind of the glue that's holding this together, besides just our mana creatures getting us there, is we have four copies of Incubation Incongruity. So this is exciting. This is a card I haven't played in a while. <clears throat> so it's basically the first part incubation is like a one mana once upon a time where you can only grab a creature you can't grab lands but this will help us uh, find gilded goose and paradise druid early so we can get our mana creatures consistently um, we also have the pelt collectors that we can just grab <clears throat> as well to have another uh, cheap thing to be able to play right away and grow but then later on in the game, we can use Incubation to look for um, our Wicked Wolves or our Hydroid Krasis. Uh, that, of course, Krasis draws tons and tons of cards. So we can use that there. But then also, like in the mid game and also in the late game, if we need removal, the Incongruity can exile a creature. And then they uh, get to create a 3-3 Green Frog Lizard creature token. We can even kind of like surprise opponents by doing that on our own, like Gilded Goose, to make like a 3-3 a three, three attacker. Um, you know, we can just do that. It's an instant, so we can do that at end step. Turn the Gilded Goose into a 3-3, three, three, untap, Ember Cleave that 3-3, three, three, and get in some surprise damage there. So yeah, let's let's kind of see how this, this deck goes. Um, yeah, we have... Uh, we got more of our... We only have one Bone Crusher Giant in the main, but we got more in the boards. For like whenever we really need to have like the stomp part, uh, we need that early removal there. Domri's ambush. Sorry, uh, Domri's ambush uh, works really well with you know pelt collector, but even these things you know like works great with paradise druid. You know like we can we can kind of turn like our paradise druids like with all these Domri's ambushes and stuff. We can turn like these smaller threats pelt collector and paradise druid. We can you know increase their size and make them even better with ember cleave as well. Okay, so let's, yeah, this looks pretty fun. So let's uh, give this a try. A couple Thrashing Bronstons over there as well. So we're going to go ahead and play a league with this deck. And see if we can get to five wins before two losses. And here we go. Let's see how Teamer does without Oko and without Once Upon a Time. Yeah, yeah. So we basically, yeah, we basically have Oko's plus one with incongruity turned something into an elk. We turned it into a frog wizard, frog lizard. All right, let's see how this goes. But uh, yeah, I'm glad, DJ, that the, that the performance is much better on your end. That's good. That's good. Um, what happened to our opponent? Where'd they go? So I don't think we can keep the one lander. All right, we can we can keep this. I think we'll put a pelt collector back.
I'm a little worried about the amount of lands this deck has. There's 24, and we have a lot of spells that cost a lot of mana. You know, Nyssa, Chandra, Krasis. And in, uh, Incongruity does not grab lands for you. I mean, that's, that's just QQ image. Yeah, QQ just post stuff himself. That wasn't, that's not like a, an investment I made. All right, so we're also playing against Teamer, but this is likely Teamer Reclamation. Teamer Reclamation does play a lot of counter spells, so maybe Chandra Awakened Inferno will be even better there. All right, so what if I don't grab blue? How are we doing on? So there's just one blue source there. The four breeding pools. There's really not very much blue. I don't really want to grab blue, though. Hopefully, Gilded Goose stays alive. Playing the mountain here, so we just activate this goose. That hurts. That's just like the worst case scenario. Um, I guess go get him, Wicked Wolf. Go get him. See, so yeah, I did not grab blue. Oh, okay. Thanks, Rex. <laughs> Goose by. Goose by, gooses. The problem with, like, just, you know, using these things to pump Wicked Wolf is I'm sure they're playing a bunch of Brazen Borrowers. Like that, that they would just bounce it. Yeah, not being able to grab a land is pretty rough. So, first incubation incongruity, first whiff. Yeah, we got to see some cool, some cool. We got to see cool cars down at the bottom of the library, though. Hey, Afasar. Casper! 
Thank you so much for that sub, Casper. Oh man, this not grabbing the blue mana is just really haunting me. You know, at the time I only had one green source, but then obviously since then we we drew we drew the stomping ground, and then we drew Krasis, Kras, and then and they flame sweeped both of my gilded goose, and then we drew Krasis, Krasis. That's just uh, that's just rough. But anyway, thank you so much there, Casper. Um, finishing a season in top 1200, it, it doesn't do anything if you just hit it during the season, but if you finish the season in top 1200 in Mythic, then you get a, then you get, then you are qualified to play in the next, um, Mythic Championship qualifier. So you're, you're qualified to play in the qualifier. So like whenever that is on on Magic Arena, you're entered. You're you you have an entry for that event. So that's how you get entered for it. You had to finish the season in the top twelve hundred. Yep, one more land. We can, you know, have uncounterable Chandra. Get some emblems. It's possible they don't have anything for the Wicked Wolf. I mean, they're just sitting with like a bunch of red removal and counter spells and lands. Maybe the Wicked Wolf kills them. No, I have not revisited Chandra Tribal recently, but that is on my list of decks to revisit. So I'm, I'll probably be playing that again this weekend. So sometime soon. So it looks like they're digging for something to deal this wolf. They're still digging. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing! Good job, Wicked Wolf. Way to be indestructible. Alright, Cinder Vines, Brontodon, Nagate. Bring in all of those. Take out these ambushes. Let's take out the Ember Cleaves. I kind of just want to play Bone Crusher Giant instead of Pell Collector. We can kill a 3 1, or it's just a, a 4 3 is just a lot bigger creature. Um, this stops Chemistry's Insight flashback. Meh.
yeah, Jeskai midrange. Yeah, I was actually kind of playing. I was actually planning on playing Jeskai midrange today, but then we had we had the donate we had the team or midrange donation deck to do instead. So I'll probably be playing that tomorrow or Sunday. That yeah, that's definitely one. Yeah, I liked that deck a lot too. No, my opponent did not have lethal with explosion on end step, especially how I could I could have gained six life with the uh, well one one it was just eleven damage, but I also remember I had, I had the food that I could gain life with also. Cool, Gruel Historic got you to Mythic. Awesome, Zappa. Yeah, that deck is really nice. That's a good one. They better not play uh, Flame Sweep again. That'd be cheating. Yay. They didn't cheat. <laughs> no Flame Sweep. All right, our, our deck needs like two more lands than what it has. For how 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 expensive the cards are in this deck, this deck needs like twenty six lands, not twenty four. Hmm. I really don't want Bronzedon to get countered. Bronzedon's a pretty important card. I really don't want it to get countered. Let's play this Bone Crusher Giant. Yeah, I thought about just making food. Like, just passing and having, like, the ability to make food or, or cast Stomp. But... I'm glad we got a counterspell out of their hand. Make it a better chance that Brontodon resolves. I'm glad we got a Lava Coil out of their hand, too, that would kill the Brontodon. I'm happy about that. Uh, if only incubation, uh, if only this card would grab a land for me. I'm supposed to side that board this card out because the incongruity doesn't really matter too much. I was probably supposed to sideboard that card out. Wish we could just side in more lands. Yay, land.
So I don't really want to crack Fabled Passage. Because again, we may need the blue mana. Uh, I have to go, go get green, and then maybe we just never have blue. Annoying. All right, so yeah, incubation has been pretty, pretty underwhelming. Would have been much better as just being a land in both games. We don't really need to destroy the Wilderness Reclamation until their second main. You know, with their bounce spell being Brazen Bar, where they can't target their own things. So we can basically see if they want to use their mana on anything at first. Need land. The incubation's a sorcery. I couldn't just like put it back on top and then like upkeep, cast incubation and, and grab it and then um, try to draw a land also. Hey, there we go. Furion with the Twitch Prime sub. Five months and counting. Thank you so much there, Firion. All right, so we're going to uh, actually have blue mana. I think that's the first time my opponent's seen blue mana or a blue card. So we're suddenly a teamer deck. That was a, a good draw, that breeding pool. Real good draw. Now we get to actually cast Hydroid Crisis. Even if they want to counter it, we still draw a card. Hey, Zap, you've been enjoying Historic? Nice. Yeah, we'll keep we'll keep playing Historic, for sure. I've been writing about it over on Patreon. So they, they get 16 mana and I have 4. Never mind, they'll have 17 mana. Alright, we're starting to get there. We got 5 mana. Seems like we have such an abundance of mana when we have 5.
Good job, CB. We went 5-0 with the Gruel Aggro in best of threes today. Awesome. Yep, Furion, I do. Yep. Uh, regular sub and a Twitch Prime sub are the same. Yep. I feel like this is going to die to, to Flame Sweep. Really need to just sideboard in more lands. My mana creatures are just dying. Yep, no, no, you're doing great. Yeah, we were going to be dead before we could... Yeah, sure, we, we could we could Wicked Wolf... The, the Niv the next turn, yes, but it, it didn't matter. The game was over. They got to draw two cards with the Opt. Dealing two damage to me there. They got to untap their lands, draw another three cards with Chemister's Insight. So they were, they were going to be able to just refill their hand, have five more... Um, five more cards, plus then they had, you know, still another, like, six mana to be able to... You know, I don't know, six, seven, eight mana, something like that, to be able to use um, as well. And, you know, with their five new cards. So yeah, the game was over. Unfortunately, we're playing a league here. We can't change the deck in the league, but yeah, twenty. This this is not really an acceptable amount of lands to be playing in a, in this deck. Maybe we get lucky and, and draw a lot of lands though in the the next couple matches or. I don't know, maybe Cinder Vines does a whole lot. Yay. I did not side out to any land, no. Seems like it, though. Uh, no, this is... Youthful Knight is the name of this card. It's a common. Yeah, Stormfist Crusader and Probable Alliance. Yeah, those two seem to pair pretty well together. <laughs> Just every one of these games, we've drawn as many Hydroid Crisis as we have lands. So all these games, we have like three lands, three Hydroid Crisis, and there's 24 lands and four Hydroid Crisis in the deck. All right, so I did that before blowing up Wilderness Reclamation, so if they wanted to counter the Bone Crusher Giant, they would have taken a damage from the Cinder Vines. They could ether gust their own wilderness reclamation, I suppose. I'm 
not sure what the rush was to play that Brazen Borrower. No, you, you basically can only... No, it's not that you can only pick Planeswalkers as your avatar. It's just most of the avatars they've made are Planeswalkers. It's just whatever they've made for an avatar you can use. But they mostly just made Planeswalkers as avatars. Hey, what's up, Justice? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. You are amazing. Thank you so much. That's our 10th sub of the day. Got that sub goal. Alright, so play in the Paradise Druid. Hopefully we draw a fifth land so we can start Krasis, Krasis for four. I really want to, you know, start drawing two with the Krasises. But maybe this is just me being too greedy. Yep, too greedy. Is there a rule of thumb for mana fixing land count? Um, yeah, there's, there's not really a specific um, rule of thumb. But yeah, if you if you're new, yeah, you're saying you're new new to Magic, I recommend checking out the the level one course there. Um, All right, we gotta find land. Yay! A lot of good, a lot of great information in here. Um, and then yeah, deck construction. It talks about building a mana base, uh, and the the deck construction stuff in there as well. I played Nessa, Nessa just dies. Hey, hey Deacon! Big cheers for the Hawkeye. Aw, thank you so much, Deacon. I can see if, if Hawkeye wants to come up here. Thank you, Deacon. Alright, well, we're not doing anything anyway with my opponent doing all this Niv stuff. So, Deacon, or so Hawkeye's just kind of laying down back here. He just all cur curled up over there. We'll see if he decides to come join the, the stream. Okay. Okay. Come here. Ah, uh, well, I don't know if y'all can see that. He, he put his head up and meowed and looked at me and then decided to just lay, lay right back down. Usually he's better about it. Again, I tried a second time. <laughs> okay, come here. He keeps on like looking up. He usually is better about that. I'm sure if I would get up, he would get up. But yeah, that's the cat life. See, I bet if I go in the other room, he'll... So you can watch him over there.
I guess not. Are you okay? You coming over here? There you go. Finally. Yeah, I know you were sleeping. You were having fun. You wanna be on stream? Yeah, Mu Yanling is. There's definitely better planeswalkers. I'm not gonna help you out. All right, fine. Ugh. Hey, there he is. Took him a little bit. He was enjoying his cat nap. But I didn't go pick him up. He came on over here. <laughs> yeah, I need to tell him his fans are waiting. Okay, your fans are waiting. All right, team of midrange, you can do it. More mana. I mean, that that was just a, a classic game of, you know, who, who's spending the more mana. Like, I had Hydroid Crisis that could have drawn me a bunch of cards if I would have had mana, but I didn't. My opponent had tons and tons of mana, and I couldn't hit land drops. <laughs> Hawkeye the King. All right, well, let's give this a try. Hopefully we can have turn three Wicked Wolf. Yay, we're gonna have turn three Wicked Wolf. <laughs> yeah, he's on his favorite multiple blankets. Got it. Yeah, I have the Couch loaded up with a couple blankets and it's a favorite place to go lay down. All right, so Jund. Love everybody getting the Hawkeye, you see that? Everybody has their Hawkeye emotes in the chat. Yeah, that's you. He seems pretty happy. Alright, so yep, Jund, sacrifice. Hey, what's up, Abandon? All right, keep them from drawing even more cards whenever we kill more things. Love the Selesnia Knights deck. Awesome. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for the uh, sub there, the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that, Abandon. That's our 11th sub of the day. Midnight Reapers are so good. You think, cool, yeah, you think Arena is a lot, a lot more fun since the green bands and then the historic entrance? I agree. I like, I do like standard more after the bands and, um, 
Yeah, I'm liking Historic so far. His There's a lot of really powerful stuff to be doing in Historic. For sure. <laughs> Your opponent just played Fires without reading Lavinia. Uh, that's awesome. Hey, there's a cat. The fellow cat. Enthusiast. Uh-oh. Corvold's pretty broken. All right, not looking good. This just draws them like two cards. You know, they can draw a card with the Trail of Crumbs, draw a card automatically with Corvold. This looks like... This looks like this is just going to end up with Corvold killing us. Um, I could draw... I draw like a Domri's ambush. We got four ambush. We got four incongruity also, which this this would be a great time to draw it. incubation incongruity because turning that thing into a three three. That'd be good. I still think my opponent's deck is very good. Like, you know, I don't think you need Oko for this deck. I like this John deck a lot. I think it's a very powerful one. <laughs> yeah, we got the avatar hat. No, as, as far as I know, the resolution's the same. Is the is the does the stream look different or something? Does it look different, Hawker? Yeah, if you want if you want to see Harvey, the the easiest way to go see to see Harvey if um, is in the Discord channel. There's a room for the pets in the Discord channel. I've put pictures of Hawkeye or sorry of Harvey before, but it, I don't think Harvey can really Harvey's not really going to be on stream. It's hard to get Harvey on stream. She's she's a little bigger. She actually she only has three legs. She was hit by a car a while ago and and so she only has three legs and she's also bigger so it's, it's hard to get hard to actually have her get on the stream and I 
I mean, so they get to, like, you know, just draw a bunch of cards with Cauldron Familiar, Midnight Reaper, you know, ping stuff with Devil, ping me. They have another Corvold in, in hand. We're very dead there. All right, so we have to kill these enchantments. Love Lava Coil, too. I guess this is what Graph Digger's Cage is for, to keep the Cauldron Familiar from coming back. Hmm. This is definitely a good Embercleave matchup, because, you know, like, they get they have, like, good chump blockers and everything, and you want to be able to Embercleave. Um, this is not a very good Paradise Druid matchup, because of, like, Mayhem Devil just pinging it and killing it, as we saw. But the problem with taking out Paradise Druid is I don't have enough lands. I'm just going to make my deck worse if I take out Paradise Druid. I also can't just, like, cut a ton of creatures because of Incubation Incongruity. Unless we just want to treat this as, as we're always going to cast Incongruity. We just try to use Bone Crusher Giants to kill their Paradise Druids and Gilded Goose, and maybe take my own Paradise Druids and Pelt Collectors out. 17 creatures. We're basically not going to be able to cast that thing. I don't know. I don't know if, if I'm doing... Hey, Nariden. Um, I did, I've made one Cauldron of Eternity deck before. It was before Oko was banned. We didn't do well with it because of Oko. Um, so that is, that's something that I do need to go back and um, take a look at again. No, they're... Well, they're, their best cards are Witches Oven and Trail of Crumbs. Those are their two best cards, especially Trail of Crumbs. Like, Cinder Vines destroys Trail of Crumbs. That's pretty important. Which I guess I'll just wait here and just make a food first. Yeah, I'm planning on getting the new computer soon. I, I sent a bunch of messages to a friend of mine. about options but I it's you know it's probably gonna take a couple of weeks to actually um, to actually get the computer get it set up like with the stream and, and everything like that. This is the problem with playing Graph Digger's Cage is Golgari Queen kills it. Oh, I'm doing okay today. We we had just a, a real we had a really good stream yesterday, but just a real long twelve hour stream yesterday and um I've been pretty tired today because of that. Because then, you know, it's just like later getting to sleep and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think Leyla. Yes, I think Leyland of the Void is better than Graph Digger's Cage. Alive or alive? It hel helps stop Midnight Reaper, too. Oh, yeah, we have to click this thing now.
I don't know what I'm going to do about this Corvold yet. Um, at how many lands in Esper control list? At minimum 25. Most likely 25 or 26. I, I would probably say most likely 26. So most likely 26, at minimum 25. If you got a crazy curve, you can play 27. Got yeah, a real high curve. Probably just 26. Guess I need incongruity instead of instead of Domri's ambush. I took out like one or two incubations and kept all the Domri's ambushes, but Domri's ambush couldn't kill that huge Corvold, but Corvold just looked like a, a really big problem. This deck didn't really seem to work too well. I mean, obviously a very small sample of two two games, but I didn't really like this incubation card. As we talked about, the, the 20 creatures isn't really enough. I don't think we're, really, we're not really playing like enough bigger creatures for Pelt Collector. You know, we just have like this one Bone Crusher Giant here. It's basically like four of these. And not, it doesn't really seem like enough creatures for like basically these cards, Pelt Collector, Incubation, and Domri's Ambush. And of course, as we know, I wanted definitely wanted another like two lands. Well, this deck does have, you know, Nissa Hydro Crisis, so some games you're just gonna win because you just have Nissa and then you get to play very large Crisis. That 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 two card combo is going to steal games, but um, I wasn't really a fan of, of just kind of all, all the rest of the stuff we had going on, unfortunately. I think like we need we need more creatures, like more cheap creatures, like more twos and threes and stuff for for, for Pelt Collector, Domri's Ambush, Incubation. Like playing Nyssa, Krasis, Chandra does not make these cards, like it makes these cards worse. But then also playing these cards make Nyssa, Chandra, Krasis worse because then we're not really consistently getting to these things, like mana-wise. I mean, I guess guess this can help find mana creatures, but other times we'll just whiff. It doesn't help you hit land drops. A lot of times the, the, the best ramp is just hitting your land drop. So I don't know. Um, there is a brawl channel on on the Discord, Seraph, and people people are in there talking brawl. If you got if you got stuff, yeah, if you want to be talking brawl, um, I don't know if there's like a specific brawl Discord that's only just for brawl, but um, you know you can always uh, you know send messages about brawl on the in my uh, discord rooms like there's there's just room for everything and and we have a couple of people i know like storm's one of them that play lots and lots of brawl 
Um, so yeah, feel free to send questions out there and everything. Um, anyway, so yeah, I don't, I don't have like a great recommendation. I kind of feel like the deck needs complete overhaul for, for something that I would be comfortable with. I, I guess I don't really like joining Pelt Collector, Domri's Ambush, and Incubation with Nissa Chandra Crisis. I feel like those are two different strategies. Unfortunately. Um, <clears throat> but I like all the cards. You know, like these were cards I was excited to play Incubation and Congruity and everything. I, I like the card, the, like each card individually, I like them, but I don't think that they really, it doesn't really seem like they mesh well together, even though I like the individual cards. Um, okay, but that's, so that's, that's kind of the conclusion here for this Teamer mid-range deck. Um, all right, uh, and yeah, like Graft, I don't think Graft Digger's Cage is very playable as a sideboard card. I wouldn't have that in there. But, um, all right, there we go. So team or mid range. Um, all right, if you're watching on YouTube, hope you learned some stuff as well. And if you're if you're playing teamer over on YouTube, you know if you're you're going Nissa Crisis, um, and playing teamer stuff, feel free to put your uh, deck list down below. You know, feel free to, to post it down there. Let me know what you're having success with with teamer in standard, or you know what what you're trying and all that kind of stuff. But uh, thank you so much for watching some uh, teamer mid range, and I'll see you for the next video.